I call this black is beautiful and it is life it is 100% full of life you see that blackness there that is either carbon or it's Fe2 and uh, Fe2 plus which you can see in that that uh, video there now this is a broken bone and inside that broken bone you're gonna see materials here that range from very deep reddish rusty red looking to black and that is the ferritins the irons and those are concentrated in the blood and in the marrow and they're deeply concentrated seventy percent of the iron in the body is in the blood and most of the blood is well not most of it, but a heavy concentration is in the marrow and we find this every single time there's a crack in a bone it turns black and bone char is black and that is activated charcoal totally understood processes there's nothing mysterious here this blackness on here that is another sign of life that's that's carbon silhouette and that is the carbon silhouetting stain of an interior bone and and you can see the the blood patterns and it's I've shown this in another where the hand video is but all of these are signs of life they're exuding and gushing from everything that is here and these are carbon that's sublimated the organics are sublimated out and the carbon little carbon bags are left and it turns into eventually would if all of this stayed in the ground long enough it would turn into deeper and deeper deeper kerogen material and all of the rest of the organics would sublimate out you'd end up with a virtual piece of coal and then at some point it's even possibly become a diamond because it, all that would be left is the carbon and that's all that's in a diamond is carbon and it's in a lattice structure carbon is a very strange molecule carbon can be black like graphite and slick as 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 ice and it can be hard as diamonds and clear as glass and it is identically the same elemental item I can take one handful of, of diamonds and one handful of graphite and I have two handfuls of the identical same element there's no difference whatsoever except in the way they align themselves in their own crystals and and, and carbon is very strange no sublimation uh, well it sublimates it 8,300, I don't know, somewhere up in there, and nothing else is left when carbon sublimates. Carbon has no, no liquid state that uh, I know of, and it has a, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's just a, a unique molecule. So anyway, that's why we suspect that all this black stuff that we see everywhere in life, in these rocks, is is a product almost exclusively of life and if there's any other reason for it we'd like to know i know there's other um, magnesium or manganese or things like that that zinc and things that might turn black I, I agree with that there's no question but these need to be tested for the signatures of life so i, I understand there's other things that can turn black and somebody might go up paint rocks i don't know what they might do but this usually when you see carbonaceous material ferrous oxides fe2 fe3 those are to my mind they're products of life and somebody proved me wrong i don't you know that's what we're looking for somebody to validate it or disprove it that's all we, you know we, we could be wrong